I'll introduce you. Okay. Hey guys, um, welcome to our team call. We have a special guest with us today. This is Stephanie Abrams. She is a diamond ambassador. She lives in Alaska, but she um, is currently traveling through California. So um, I wanted to, I just want to get right to it because I don't want to waste any time here. Um, so Stephanie is just bringing us to just pour into our team a little bit. I've met her now. I feel like we're friends. Um, it's just super cool. Let me see who's clicking. Um, let me see something. I don't know if somebody, no, it's okay. All right. Um, sorry. So um, yeah, I just wanted to let you pour into us. I feel like we've met each other now on all these fun like conventions, the leaders retreat and um, the extravaganza. So it's just fun to get to know everybody. And um, it does, we're just all like family is what I feel. So truly one plexus. So yeah, yeah. Today, girl. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, I'm really stinking excited to be on here. I, <laughs> I've told a couple people before, but I remember when I first started Plexus and I would just like devour any YouTube video I could find. And so it was a lot of trainings from other diamonds to other teams. And I remember thinking like, oh my goodness, I wonder what it'd be like to be asked to talk to somebody's team. <laughs> and so now here it is, and I hope what I have to share is going to be something worthwhile for you guys. So anyway, like Phyllis said, my name is Stephanie. I live in Alaska. I've got three babies. My husband um, is in the Marines. He, he is a pilot, and we were introduced to Plexus uh, almost five years ago now. Almost five years ago. Man, time flies. It's just, it's been such a roller coaster, and it has been the biggest thing that we have ever done to change like what our family future will look like. It's been absolutely awesome. And the only reason I started was because I had my daughter and I like, we're very much holistic, naturopathic. Um, we do a lot of herbs and tinctures and all that crunchy stuff. And so hearing about plexus I was like this sounds like a weight loss scam and the boy man it has come such a long ways like the very first catalog is the one that I saw and it was like pink and this glossy um this glossy paper it was just terrifying <laughs> so we have come a long ways but I first heard about it then and so I was not impressed at all um but I was also struggling with weight loss. And I just cringe saying that because we're so much more than weight loss, but I knew there was something hormonal going on inside. And I kept reading stories and learning about inflammation and blood sugar and how that balances so many different things. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to give this a try. And so that was my start. And I did not share right away. Like we were talking, I feel like this was like the wild west of plexus because this was like two back offices ago. Um, we didn't have any of the information. We didn't even have triplex yet. Okay. So I started with the slim and back then they had a four pack of slim for your welcome pack. And so that's what I got. So that's all I started with. Um, but then I learned and I added in the pro bio and the bio cleanse and I didn't share until probably three months in. Cause I was just like, Nope, don't even ask me to share. Like I've already tried doing stuff in the past and it didn't work and I'm not going to be this salesperson for you, you know? <laughs> so I just kind of had a little attitude about it and now here I am. <laughs> so guys, you never know. You never know where that person's going to be. You know, I signed up Amy Paul and Amy was one of those people that completely ignored me. Like she would be the she the theme like when you message them on Facebook you can see that they saw your message and they ignore you and don't respond that was her for months and so then I would write her about something else that was kids or family related and she would prompt respond and then I would say something like this and then she would ignore me again <laughs> but I kept on I kept being her friend I was still interested in her everyday life what was the relationship there and things that I can tell you guys is never never become a flex ambassador first okay um be the friend be the cousin whatever it is first don't change who you are um 
just add a little bit to it when you're adding in plexus. Live that, and, and when you are truly, genuinely still interested in people, they're going to see that, and their guard's going to come down a little bit instead of being like, oh, boy, this is just one of those salespeople now. So that was really huge because it took Amy a while before she signed up. And then Amy and Brooke, that was a year, okay? That whole story, like, Brooke didn't do it for an entire year before she finally tried it. So don't lose the relationship. That's, like, my biggest number one tip. Um, and so, anyway, through my journey, I, I finally decided to share um, my – when I went silver, I did an in-home event. That was my very first in-home event I did, and it helped me go silver. So I'm huge for those. I was um, messaging with Phyllis, and I guess you guys have a couple, or she's done a couple, and she's got more coming up. So guys, especially if you have big goals for the way to earn, um, all the different things that we have now, these incentives are incredible. Schedule you a sip and see at your house. Um, I've heard of a couple cute names, like ones like Taco Bell Plexus, and so they have like a taco bar. Um, it doesn't have, you can make it as fancy or as little as you want, but get people into your home, get them to see and hear the excitement and use the tools. Even if you're a new person, you don't have to be intimidated by it, but it's, there's really nothing that can replace that as many opportunity meetings or online virtual events in home events are still really fantastic. And so that's how I went silver, I had an in-home event and then I, I started to be intentional and just learning as much as I could, watching a lot of videos. We didn't really have any systems back then. And so now that we have them, I'm like, oh my goodness, what could I have done if I'd had this from the beginning? So you've got Brooke and you've got Barbie and Phyllis. You guys have some incredible, literally fastest growing complexes. The system guys use the systems they work so anyway learning and stumbling through and growing and I would hold in-home events and I hit you know gold and then senior gold and I stalled out in senior gold I had heard from a jewel that like oh yeah once you get senior gold you know the momentum starts going and people start you know working and so I went into that dreaded management mode of like oh my team is supposed to start picking up the work now and it didn't happen and I got stuck at senior goal, not stuck because it was my fault. I was there for several months. And during that time, I had a lot to learn. I had a lot to learn. And first I went through like a pity party stage. Then I went through like a, well, this isn't working stage. And then like a, why aren't my people doing anything stage? And then I finally got into the, the, the healthy mindset of, okay, I'm here because of me. What can I do to get out of this? How did I do to get to senior gold? What do I need to do to become more? And so one of my favorite quotes is, you are what you have been becoming. So if you're not happy with where you're at right now, whatever rank that is, first off, it's if you need to learn something, if it's a growing season, if you're in holding right now and you have to learn something before you can launch into something bigger, Find out what it is you need to learn and get better at so that you can progress. The other part is if you're at where you are and you feel really stuck or stagnant, what did you do in the past that got you to where you are? And if you're not happy there, what are you doing now to change your future? Okay. So whenever you feel like you're in that place, really get serious with yourself, maybe talk with a, a, an upline that you respect and work through things if you need to. Maybe you need to start journaling, being grateful. Maybe you need to start praying over your team or your business more. Maybe you need to do work. Give it to your team, meeting new people. Maybe it's locally getting into another group and and making new connections and not, and oh goodness, like not making new connections just so they'll join your team, okay? <laughs> like literally, truly find something that you have joy in and you cultivate and grow relationships there that you can genuinely pour into other people because you never know what could come down the road. But what can you learn while you're at where you are? Okay, that's my point. And so I had to do that at Senior Gold. And from there, I learned a lot. And looking back now, I can see what God was doing to grow me in that time. Because after that, 
then Amy Paul got serious and she started really growing and I was mature enough, like mentally with this business. I was stable enough to be able to help her like she needed it. So if I wouldn't have had that, and then Amy got Brooke and Emily. And so we just had this big explosion, but there I had to have a time to grow myself so that I could be a better person. And oh my goodness, I still have so much to learn. But if you're in that spot where you feel like you're holding, learn what you can while you're there. Okay. Um, because it's, it's, everything happens for a reason. And if that's your journey right now, try to take your eyes off of everybody else and what's going on. And, oh, they just ranked up and they just joined like three hours ago <laughs> because your team has a lot of momentum going on. And sometimes it can get really frustrating if you may not be that person in momentum, but learn what you have to do where you're at because God has it happening for a reason and do the very best that you can with what he's given you already so that when he gives you more, you're ready for it. So that was a really big learning thing for me because then I went from senior gold in, I, I went, I went Ruby in March and then senior Ruby in May. And then in September I went Emerald. <clears throat> so it was a lot of fast growth on our team. At least it was fast for me. Um, but I really had to learn a lot. I really had to learn a lot to be ready for what was to come. So if you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're in a place where you're just like kind of spinning your wheels, you're really not, okay? Maybe you've got to learn to do something different. Maybe you need to learn to do something different, better. Um, maybe you're not pouring into your team like you need to. I don't know. But just from my experience, what I've learned, um, use that time because it happens for a reason. And then um, some of the things that I really had to learn when I first joined – um, do you want me to keep going, Phyllis? I have a couple things written down, but I don't want to be like boring you guys. <laughs> no, keep going. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so a couple of the things that I have learned is social media. When I first, when I first started, um, Plexus, I literally posted like four times a year. I had zero, zero social media presence. So I really had to grow um, that. And so Sarah Robbins was like my go-to person for that. She, uh, I watched her YouTube on social media summit or something like that. And I like watched over and over and follow what she said. That was a really big thing for me learning how to do social media. Another thing, another book that I read that was really good was How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's an old book. Some people think it is extremely dry, but it is so, there's so much value in it. Like, I'm homeschooling my kids, and when they get older, that's going to be part of their curriculum. Like, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It was so good. I believe it's by Dale Carney. Um, really, really good book. And then, right. Like, I probably should have done that one first because that's huge. Like so many times we just try to start doing things through our own efforts and our own ideas and make, try to make things happen where if you ask God, like he is the one that knows the hearts of Kings. He knows the hearts of men and he knows what your business needs, whether it's someone that joins your team or someone that I've had that happen to. And I would be so frustrated, but I just had to learn, like, thank you, Lord, that you are protecting me from something. This is not the best for me because it didn't happen. And so I'm just thanking you for that and learn to move on. So prayer is really, 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 really huge. Don't forget to pray for your team. Don't forget to pray over your business, over the people that are going to join. Um, some things that I pray for are emotional maturity. Really big. I pray for emotion. I pray. Committed workers, influencers, um, willing to work, or if it's you no know, product, they they are willing and ready to make a change. Because you can have the greatest tools in the world, but if someone is not ready to be helped, not willing to put the effort out, it does no one any good. So um, 
just just trust the process, trust the journey, use the tools. If you're in place, can with it so that when you get or is that like okay she's already really working she's making or the team that she has like she's not ignoring that i she's she she deserves more she deserves more um try not to look at other people's journey you can really start to lose your joy if you keep your eyes on everybody else instead of what your story is supposed to be um and then use the system guys like there's the systems are there now use them teach your team to use them have that duplication because a lot of people doing a little bit of work using the system using the tools that's what creates momentum and that's what we all want so anyway um that's kind of what i have phyllis <laughs> all right thank you so much stephanie Do you have for her does anybody have anything they want to ask stephanie while she's with us Anybody? All right. Oh, Mary does. Let me unmute. Yeah. You. Okay. Go for it. Okay. So um, you uh, froze up a little bit when you were talking about emotional maturity, and just wondering okay, if you could sorry. speak. Uh, no, it's not. It's just the internet. Just wondering if you could speak a little bit about that and what you uh, went through. Just talk about that a little bit more. The emotional maturity so part. emotional maturity yeah no that is something and i heard it from another jewel um and i was like oh my goodness that is so necessary because network marketing plexus truly this is a woman predominant company and men women whenever you still have emotions you can still have egos you can still have you know hurt feelings and trauma and just unnecessary petty things and that can really drain you having to deal with that having to put out fires all the time or deal with just the immaturity you know like we We need guys, and even for my current team to be healthy, strong, like confident to portray what we do well, uh, because that leaks through. Like people can sense that, you know. And so, emotional maturity is something. Someone that is confident in themselves, they can get along well with people. You know, if they're slighted or whatever, they may they may know it, but they're not going to like make it a big life or death drama situation. You know just just having that <laughs> just having the ability to to maybe have been wrong but to not let it continue to control their lives and drain them and them not to be able to focus on other team things or the benefits of the team you know just different things like that so emotional maturity is something that i've added to my list for a while now and i want people that can give into others instead of being so focused on themselves and how their feelings are and how they got hurt or whatever and they can't really pour into others as well because they're too focused on themselves you know so anyway does that does that help mary okay awesome yeah i like that playing well with others <laughs> pouring into each other um that's what we do i feel like our team is pretty good pretty solid that way and we're a young team so who knows what's to come but I love your focus on prayer because that's sometimes I find myself not doing that and that's oh, yeah. what I'm missing. And so, um, I I need to write that down. <laughs> look at that every single day, you know, pray for your team, pray for prayers, prayers, um, affirmations was something really big for me too. Like I downloaded an app and I recorded all of these affirmations for myself. Like I had the fastest growing team in Plexus. Um, I am an amazing leader and my team loves me. They respect me. Um, I have changed thousands of lives, just all of these different things. And so I would record them and I would like listen to them as I was falling asleep, as I was asleep. <laughs> this is one of those things where you kind of feel a little ridiculous, but you do it because like all the big people like Tony Robbins and Sarah Robbins and all these other people tell you how important they are. And so now 
I mean, this is several years later, but, and, and you're not directly my level ones, but you guys are literally the fastest growing team in Texas, literally the fastest growing team. And something else, um, one of my affirmations was, and I've changed thousands of lives. And if you watch my diamond documentary, my upline Liz, I never told her any of my affirmation, but on there, she was just talking and she's like, you know, Stephanie, you know, she's changed thousands of lives. Mm. And so it's just like neat to see just kind of those little signs from the Lord. Like, yeah, you had to, I had to overcome some stuff. I had to get over my pride of like, what are people going to think? Do I really I don't know that I want to do this? Um, but it was worth it. You know, get, letting go of that pride so that you be, can become more than what you have been. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's super cool. Do you I think somebody asked a question? Let's see, Jul Julia, um, do you reach out to people with your why? Yes, that is something that I have just started doing. And man, it makes such a big difference um, with how you feel, with how I feel about when I'm sharing it. Um, I actually just think that on my team page where I did a, a IPA challenge on crafting your why so that you would have it there written. So when someone asks you, when you're reaching out to them, you can say, can I share with you why I'm doing what I'm doing? Um, and it just comes across as a different feel too. So yes, I do love that. And it gives you a great reason to be able to reach back out to people, especially if you've been doing it for a while, but you can say, you know what, you've seen me do this for, you know, two years, seven months, whatever. I don't know that I've ever shared my why with you. Could I, can I do that? Just so you know, like my heart and why I'm still doing this. Oh, powerful stuff there. Yeah, it is true because we, like my sip and see last night, I um, just mentioned to them, like, yes, we talk about the money you can make in Plexus and how financially freeing that should be, but it's more than just, like, I really oh, have yeah. to take it back to like, it's about being able to give and then yes, give more and then it's crazy what you receive back. And so when I started to talk about the things that, you know, the places you can donate or the charities that are on my mind um, and my why, my reason for doing that, um, all of a sudden it was just like that just clicked in my head. So that's so funny that you mentioned that is, is sharing your why, even at a sip and see, it just really, you get to see the crowd. It just, it changed. So it didn't become about money because you don't want to think everybody's sitting here. I just want your money, <laughs> you know, sign up so I can have some more money. It's like, you guys could help make some serious change in this world. And I talked about my little pocket, you yeah. know, where I live and yeah. what, what we can do with our space in this little planet. So yeah. awesome. Awesome. Amazing. So thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. You have anything else to share with us or does anybody else have other questions? I think this is it. We kind of lost a person, but we, we, we are recording this. We can share it with our teams. Um, so, uh, yeah, I want everyone to, to just hear what our sweet friend Stephanie has shared with us. So thank you again for your time. We so appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Pleasure is ours. <laughs> I tell you, we're like, thank you. Big hugs. <laughs> thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. Uh, so Miss Barbie, do you want to take it away? We'll just, we're going to talk about really quickly because I have our little Zoom for 40 minutes total or like 3.23. So um, Barbie was going to share, share first and then I'll wrap it up at the end. Okay. Yeah. Hi everyone. It's so cute to see you and Julia and Mary together on the cruise ship. That's so fun. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing time. I wish we were at Leaders Retreat. I feel a little chip that we don't get to go again we only got to be one <laughs> <laughs> i know that was i missed it too but we're happy for you guys but i'm so stoked for you guys that, um, and i'm glad it worked out for you julia i just wanted to say that i know you were like, had a lot to do. That's very cool. we wish you guys were here too yeah but it was amazing yeah is it over is it, I guess yeah we're we're in phoenix now oh. on our way home yeah on a layover yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I was just going to share a little bit about um, what we what the company has going on. So you guys have all gotten the emails, and um, I don't know how much time you've had to really look it through and you know figure it out. So I was just going to break it down real quick. Okay. So they, uh, Barbie, just yeah. so they went. That, they had a session on that. Oh. With the, yeah. You guys can probably explain it better than me. Than it. 
Well, and and we got an email explaining it all. Yeah, but um, no, go ahead. Well, then basically, I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, I'm super excited about the new lean personally. Personally, I didn't care for the texture of the mocha, the other one, and I couldn't drink it. I, I drank it if I blended it with a banana and stuff, but you know, that's added work. And for people that are like on the go, and that's my life basically, like I'm more of a quick and grab girl to get something, and I am so excited. I sampled both of the new ones. And I love it. And um, it kind of tastes similar to, I think, to the P96 and the smoothness of it, but, um, but much better, right? Like, um, I'm sure you guys then have seen the breakdown of the differences between the, the different leans and then the P96. So um, I would just encourage you guys to go out to host sip and sees to get something going in your community so that you can do that way to earn. I think that's great, especially coming into the holiday season, because we all need extra money for Christmas, right? Like we always, everybody always stresses a little bit about money during this time. And that's why I want to like continue, we'll continue with the promotion codes. We got that $20 off promotion codes that we'll get from the Spanish calls. And then, um, you know, we can build, I'm sure we'll have different incentives going through the holidays as well. So we can build on top of that because as much as we want a way to earn, you also want to encourage others to do the same, right? So that they, because they're not going to want to spend the money on it either. So, um, or they're going to be more hesitant to send it. So if they can get people to join with them. So I really love the fact that we can, now we finally have like literally a healthy fast food, right? We can just have that fast food and um, grab and go. So um and then the 14 day challenge, right? The slay, uh, the season. Um, I encourage you guys to get friends involved with that. Um, if you're not doing it personally yourself, I'm going to get my husband on it. And I personally ain't going to, I'm not doing it because I don't need to lose weight, but, um, I'm going to get my husband on it and start him with it. So, um, I think that's an awesome incentive that they have. So, uh, yeah, you guys already know all about it, really. So I guess I'll just let you wrap it up. Anyways, we only have about five minutes or so, right, Phyllis? Since they already know everything about it. I can't hear you, Phyllis. You're muted. Sorry about that. You know what? I think it's just Mary and Julia that know about it. So that's why I was hoping to just kind of just oh, at least okay. tell them or tell them where they can find it. I do have nine minutes and 37 seconds. So, oh, okay. So, for those of you that don't know, then the way to earn, if you sign up three ambassadors with a welcome pack um, of $199, then you're going to get $200 from Plexus. If you sign up six ambassadors with a $199 welcome pack, you're going to get $500 from Plexus. And if you sign up 10 or more well, um, new ambassadors with the welcome pack, you're going to get a thousand dollars from Plexus. So, um, and that goes until December 14th. And during that time frame as well, until December 14th, we have the slay the season. And there's basically four steps that we need, you need to do to, um, to get involved in this group. So it's a 14 day challenge that you have until your final, your final step to submit your um, before and after pictures and your 14 day completion is December 14th. So we're just at the end of October, you guys have time. So your first step you need to do is go on and if you're already an ambassador, you need to, um, you need to order one of the slay your, um, the 14 day challenge. There's two, well, there's two of them in your back office that you'll see. There, and you can, it's either um, Hunger Control Slim with the Lean and uh, Edge or Hunger Control Slim with Lean, Edge, and Block. So you pick one of those packages and then you um, have to submit to them when you're going to start. So your start date. So say you're going to start November 1st. Then you submit to them November 1st, I'm starting. And make sure you take a before picture of yourself. You need to make sure you're um, joined the Fit Squad. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you go to Facebook, search up Plexus Fit Squad, and join that group. And there will be daily prizes for participation in that Fit Squad group on, on Facebook. So, um, so get your product. Tell them when you're going to start your date. Um, take, make sure you get your before picture, 
then make sure you're on um, Plexus Fit, Fit Squad on Facebook. And then your last step that you do is that at the end of your 14 days, take your post 14 day pictures, send both of those pictures to um, the company. There, it's all in your back office on where to do so. You, you submit both of your, those pictures and your end date, and then you're entered to win $10,000. There's three different prizes for $10,000, right? I believe it. Um, so basically, those are the four steps to do, you have, and we have until December 14th to accomplish that. And I think that it's really awesome because every, like the average person gains around 10 pounds. All of the parties are all focused around food. The gatherings is around food and drink, food and drink. So um, I think that to have this, um, this challenge to go with, and also I just want to encourage you guys if you haven't, I think this is a perfect time of year to really be pushing the block. So, um, I mean, it, with all of the food and activities going on, it's, I think, one way that, one, a great, great, great tool for us to not gain that 10 pound holiday. Um, so, sorry, my husband's calling. Um, for us not to get that 10 day holiday weight gain. So, um, that's basically how that is works. You can reach out to us. Um, and, um, and if you have any questions, you can put them in there now. But um, basically, uh, I was just reading the comments over here. But that's basically how it works. So it's all in your back office. You always have us to come to and message us if you don't know what um, the next step is or where, if you get confused at all. We are here for you. That's the beautiful thing is that we are an awesome team and we have to work together as a team. You are not alone. None of you are alone. So um, we always have somebody to go to for questions, for support, and accountability. So I think that... Um, yeah, so yeah, five minutes still. Thanks a lot. Okay, so Julia was saying, try the hunger control slim too if they haven't. They can switch that out. And I think that's great. It's like if you've been doing XOS, try the hunger control for a month. No big deal. So just switch that up in your subscription. Okay, so I'm going to talk quickly about sip and seize because that's been a game changer for me. My team is growing. My team is really, really growing. And so if you haven't scheduled a sip and see um, or a community event or a, uh, what I've, I called it, I call it my... Um, Holiday health and happy hour is what I'm calling it right now. And um, so set a date. You got to set a date first. You got to get your team fired up. Um, you can set it out a week, two weeks. It doesn't matter. You can do a beautiful Facebook group event or you can just do it word of mouth. This last um, event I just did last night was word of mouth and there was nine people there. And so we had a lot of great um, people, energy, interest. And um, so here's. So I just want to kind of, the people are like, what is a sip and say, what is a sip and see? What are you talking about? Um, it is an hour long time. Of, um, I'm just going to do that. Um, it's an hour long gathering, really about 30 minutes of chatting about the products. Um, but I guess I'm just going to go through, actually, I wrote it down. So casual gathering, this is not a big formal event, right? Just, just come to my house, learn about the products. There's no pressure. That's what I started telling people because I was think they were thinking like, I got to sign up. If I go, she's going to make me sign up. And I'm like, no, it's just information. Come and learn. And so um, invite your people in. Let them mingle. I noticed last night people were chatting already, getting to know each other. Like they were breaking the ice before I had to. So that was pretty cool. So once everyone arrives, um, I handed out pink drinks. So I had somebody helping me with that. In fact, I had a, another ambassador that's been with me for a, a year. And so she was there. She kind of knew the drill. So we got everybody their drinks. They started sipping on them. I had them filling out a questionnaire. So my questionnaire looks like this. Name, email, phone number. Um, what are your top health goals? And then we already wrote them out for them, actually. Weight loss, energy, overall health, mood, digestion. And we wrote other most everyone look at this circled I should cover up the name they circled everything so they wanted <laughs> all the information um, some people added a little information but I thought that was that's a great tool because then they handed them to me and then I took it from there I was like nobody had to say uh, I'm not pooping well in front of a group you know or I have diabetes in front of a group or whatever their issue is um, I was just able to collect them and then they felt safe and you could just almost feel it in the room um, uh, so I was they Quickly review what I've done, and then oh, I'm turn that off. Um, quickly review what I was look, 
the, reviewed the paper and then came up with my topics, which is basically the fab four. Um, I was able to throw in vital biome and some ease actually based on some of what the people said, but that's where you can kind of tone down your meeting. It's like, it, you don't have to talk about every product. You can just talk about what your people are there for. And if you have time, you can throw in like, Hey, you guys want to learn about some other products you can in there. So, um, there is an opportunity event in your back office to find it. You go to virtual office, you see, you log in virtual office training center resource library and then underneath resource library you're going to look for opportunity presentation and then there's opportunity presentation guide so if you have no clue how to do a sip and see um you can look at this and just follow along or um i know you like your leaders i am super comfortable with the sip and see i know barbie's super comfortable doing sip and sees we will zoom into your event if we don't live near you we'll just zoom into an event for you you provide the computer. If you're super savvy, you can hook it up to your television. So we are on your TV um, and we can present for you and then you just get them signed up. So it looks like I have less than a minute. It's probably gonna close me out here. But um, in the end, I closed with the business. I got everybody excited. We did talk about you know the financial freedom, um, the opportunities there. And then we set up our next sip and see and people were like, okay, yes. They came up with a list of people right then and there. And so we set our date, November 8th, at my house again. And it's like, I'm going to bring so-and-so. And these guys couldn't make it this time, but they want to come. They're really interested. And so everybody that was there from different people, um, they could see the excitement. And they're like, oh, yeah. And then some ambassadors that I'd already signed up, they just wanted to come and learn more about the product. So I had them come, too. And they were able to share some of the little things that had changed. So we did two, um, we did two testimonies and then product information. And we just kept it simple and it was awesome. We had some signups and definitely like Barbie said, use those codes and um, just, yeah. So I think we did it. So I'm gonna just close there. <laughs> I, was, I don't think we even have time for questions, but I love you. Thanks you two for hanging in there at the airport with us. <laughs> but we're gonna just provide this in our um, group thread. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, so everybody can check it out. Love you. Peace out.